As we know, history progresses in the form of a spiral. Before the 1917 revolution, Russia was mainly an agrarian country. It exported grain, meat, butter, eggs and cattle to Europe and other countries. We all know what happened to the countryside and agriculture after the revolution. Could we recover lost positions and enter a new turn of the historical spiral with reliance on the significant resources of unused land? Could we make it possible for Russia to regain its leading positions in supplying the world market with husbandry and livestock products? Most certainly we can. And we want to demonstrate that this can be done even before 2017. A partnership of private and state-owned components designed to ensure the innovation development of the country's agriculture is the roadmap indicating how this is possible to achieve. As the partnership's privately owned component, the innovation company Cavicom is ready to suggest an ideology of leadership. Cavicom – Technologies of Success Moscow's second regional greenfield fund under the direction of VTB Asset Management is one of Cavicom's founders. Cavicom is a vehicle of advanced Russian and foreign Argo technologies recommended for widespread introduction in Russia's agricultural complex. The company functions in cooperation with research institutes of the Russian Academy of Sciences, the Russian Agricultural Academy and innovation organizations. This effective cooperation has already resulted in feed, technological and organizational innovations capable of ensuring the effective development of regional Argo systems. Cavicom's food innovations include technological lines with various functions and productivity. They incorporate patented cavitational units and have no industrial analogues anywhere in the world. Efforts have been made in the past to reduce the cavitation effect by designing different configurations of marine propellers, for instance. But Cavicom uses this effect to create a cavitation field in a fluid medium, which breaks solid particles with colossal energy. This makes it possible to produce feed mixtures for livestock. The lines designed by Cavicom can be used for the production of feed on pig breeding and cattle farms at poultry factories and in fish industry. Years of research at the National Livestock Research Institute has demonstrated that feeds produced in accordance with special unique recipes and subjected to cavitational treatment radically increase their assimilation and significantly cut the cost of their production. For instance, Cavicom technologies have made it possible to increase the content of rye in the feed recipes from the traditional 5% to 50%. They have also made it possible to bring the share of grass and haylage up to 30%. Normally, though, they are replaced with synthetic vitamin supplements. Besides, waste produced by breweries, wineries and dairies and treated in a cavitational medium as well as waste produced by meat, vegetable and grain processing factories easily become an integral part of the rations of pigs and other farm animals. Cavicom technologies form the basis of comprehensive economic decisions providing an organizational foundation for diversified and highly effective fodder supplies depending on the specific geographical position and economic status of any particular region. Moreover, Cavicom technologies are applicable to the production of flour containing proteins and vitamins and other highly technological feed components on an industrial scale. Today, Russia fully depends on their import. Cavicom's new cavitational technologies and systemic innovations have ecological, economic and social effects. For instance, the impact of waste on the environment can be reduced many times over by organizing a systemic utilization of waste from pig breeding complexes and vegetable and livestock processing enterprises. This entails a positive ecological effect. When pigs are fattened on an industrial scale in the absence of hormones and growth stimulants in their feed, it is possible to produce top quality pork with high protein content. Such pork has an export potential and is suitable for the production of superb smoked sausage and bacon. 
This in itself has a positive economic effect, to say nothing of the fact that the result is achieved by lowering the cost of pork production by at least 50%. Moreover, the Cavicom technology is applicable to pig breeding complexes with a moist feeding system now under construction and to modernized ones. Considering that in accordance with this technology, rye and grass are the main components of pig feeds, such complexes could be built across Russia, including its northern regions, which is especially important. There will also be a collateral effect. Hundreds of thousands of hectares of unused farmland will rejoin the country's crop rotation as a result of the procurement of rye and succulent grass. This will create thousands of new jobs in the countryside. A hundred new pig breeding complexes with a capacity of up to 54,000 head each would be enough to end Russia's dependence on pork imports with the help of the Cavicom technology. There would roughly be one complex in each subject of the Russian Federation. One complex would require an outlay of 27 million euros. The entire program to end the country's dependence on imports would cost 2.7 billion euros, an amount that might well be shouldered by the state and private businesses. In turn, such highly profitable agricultural complexes will also create thousands of high-paid jobs and will make a significant contribution to the solution of social issues in the countryside. Similar results could be obtained in other sectors of agriculture due to the highly competitive Cavicom technology. It is quite obvious that Cavicom technologies could serve as a basis for the formulation of an innovational agricultural policy for individual regions and the country as a whole. The success of this strategy largely depends on the position of the state. If the state is in a position to compensate for 50% of the cost, private capital will use extra funds to build factory shops for a thorough processing of livestock products and farm produce and will enter the world market with ecologically clean and highly competitive Russian-made goods. This means that the whole country will be affected by revolutionary results. By 2017, we will have created a new format of life in the Russian countryside. Cavicom, technologies of success.